In this video, I want to show you which kind of graphs you can actually produce in R once you've got a proper training and once you are used to all those additional plotting packages in R. This is for example a simple histogram from R base. You can for example also produce combined histograms with two different datasets, in this case dataset A and B. You can also produce, for example, pie charts with base and you can put two or even more plots on one sheet like I did on this sheet over here. This is a typical box plot, a horizontal box plot made in base. This is a Gantt chart, an organizational chart made with the Plotrix library. Over here we can see a gap plot. Plotrix offers probably the best gap plots in R and there is also a table which was added to this gap plot. And this is a plot which shows several lower level plotting devices also with the library Plotrix. So for example you have an arc text, several add line clips added to that plot and there are also circles drawn within this plot. So this is also with Plotrix. And Plotrix also offers the best three-dimensional pie chart in R, in this case also with a table added to this three-dimensional pie chart. And this is the first ggplot2 plot you will probably see. You can see in this case that the formatting of ggplot2 products is very very good and you can quickly realize the differences to base plots. In this case you see the grids in the background, you see background coloration and it is also quite easy to draw legends with a ggplot2. Let's take a look at some more ggplot2 products. So this is a density plot with the iris data set and over here I was using several lower level plotting devices in ggplot2. For example you can draw an arrow to your ggplots. This is a simple histogram with ggplot and over here I was using facets to actually facilitate three histograms on one sheet with a ggplot. And this is for example a multi histogram. You can see ggplot box plots and this is a scatter plot with a smoother and an arrow towards one point in that plot. And this is another example of a faceted histogram with ggplot. So as you can see R offers a huge variety of different plots and once you got the proper training in it, it is quite easy to produce all those data visualizations. I personally believe that data visualization is a key skill within any data scientific field because with those kinds of graphs you can easily show what kinds of patterns are hidden in your data.